working. So today I'm gonna talk a book that has helped me to get an internship in a top tech company. This book builds a bridge between beginner and advanced. And what I mean by beginner and advanced, I mean in, a, in terms of problem solving skills. Because you can be advanced as a web developer, but not necessarily be advanced in problem solving skills. And what I found is that in interviews at the top companies uh, of technology, they require, they evaluate your problem solving skills. So before I say what this book is about, I want to give you a little bit of uh, perspective why I think this book is extremely important and should be available to all students in all computer science departments. Usually students take an introductory computer science course, then they move to a course that maybe will give them a project where they can put their introductory skills into a website or into an app, and then they take an algorithms course. What I found, however, is that there is a huge gap from the introductory course and the algorithms class. And what I mean by a gap, there is a lot more problems that should be done so you are actually prepared to have an intuition behind the algorithms. Let's say you are learning mathematics and you have four months to learn everything you've algebra one, two, and trigonometry. Three months, and then you're thrown into a calculus class right after that. I feel that's how students feel when they're throwing algorithms course. They have a short time, to master the fundamentals and then they are thrown into a scenario where they have to learn really complex and abstract concepts without the necessary preparation. For example, one of the most renowned books in computer science is the C, it's called the C programming language by the authors uh, K, I know the, the acronym is K and R, great book. However, as a first programming book, it's not good. If you read through that and you see concepts such as pointers, bitwise manipulation, you're gonna probably think you're not skilled enough to learn those concepts. You don't understand what the author is saying and probably you try to change majors. If you survive an introductory class, then you're thrown in an algorithms class where often the recommended book is the MIT algorithms books, algorithm book. All these books I'm mentioning are on the description. This book takes a theoretical perspective in teaching algorithms, which I have, I have nothing wrong with that approach, except that students need a smoother learning curve to feel prepared to face a theoretical, more mathematical, rigorous approach of an algorithms class. So this book is called AP Computer Science AB. The AP means Advanced Placement, is an exam given to high school students in North America where you can take the exam, if you do well, you don't have to take into college. The AB is a is an exam that usually involves one year of computer science co uh, courses in a college. Uh, this course was discontinued in 2009, just because there was not enough people who took it, because it was hard. But that's where the, the book is valuable. Uh, in the end of the video, I'm going to show uh, the inside of the book, uh, but the, 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 strong, the, the strength of the book is that it, it, it has a, the best way of teaching anything, in my opinion, which is through massive numbers of, problem, of problems, but not any problems. If you lo look at, the, let, let's say, the MIT problem, usually the answers are not... Uh, 
available. If they are available, the explanations are not good. And it's usually problems that require a very they, they don't build the they don't build the knowledge to get to harder problems they throw harder problems right away what I found about the AP computer science AP and any AP book in general or SAT prep book or, or programming interviews prep book like the one I recommended elements in pro of programming interviews which I also have a video about is that they have the student as their focus. In that way, they give a lot of good explanations. They're pragmatic. They're focusing on you doing well on the exam. They don't want you to... Because you have to understand the academic, he wants to impress other professors about the quality of his books. The AP Computer Science AB wants you to learn in the shortest amount of time, otherwise they go out of business. So they usually hire the best professors, they have the best teachers, and the material is great. I recommend AP uh, books for all topics, if you're learning calculus, if you're learning chemistry. But in computer science specifically, this book is amazing. You can get it on Amazon, and it just goes through the most basic uh, algorithms, explains very well, very succinctly, concisely, and helps you, they hold your hand to learn, which I find great. From that base, if you go over all the problems of this book a couple of times, I actually did the whole book twice to really solidify the content, then you're more than ready to take an algorithm course because you have internalized all that knowledge and now when you're learning about trees you don't have to think about how trees actually work you can think about the theoretical mindset behind trees so now i'm gonna show you the inside of the okay guys so now we're gonna look at the book so as you can see it's just nine dollars on kindle two dollars on paperback because it's really old by now it was discontinued 2009 and uh yeah the exam is not there anymore for people to prepare but the book is great just in terms of content and you can see by uh that it's true by the amount of reviews you have 10 reviews mostly of them a five star and if you look at the reviews, everyone will say how great it is. Uh, really solid book. So let's go now inside of the book and see the content. So what you have is chapter one. So basically it starts from the beginning. It's, it's a great review for the fundamentals. So if you follow my recommendation about the introduction to computer science in Python, this is a great follow up. Uh, and solidifies what you learn from the MIT course. So you go back to the basics of input output operators, control structures, class and objects. It's in Java, but it doesn't matter. They focus on the concepts rather than the syntax of the language. So I'm third chapter. I think this is something not covered entirely or as deeply in the MIT course. So you look at inheritance and polymorphism, some classes, uh, and at the end of every chapter, I'll show you guys, there is a multiple choice, uh, 30, 40 problems. I recommend going over all of them for every single chapter, that's what I did, and then checking again, and then you redo it, because repetition is the mother of skill. So then you go to array and array list and from chapter seven on, that's when you start getting into the algorithms that you would see in a programming interview. Those are more advanced topics and they will give you a great foundation for more rigorous mathematical uh, algorithm scores or just preparing for an algorithms interview in general. So you look at recursion linked lists, stacks and queues, trees, uh, 
collections so you look at the set map list how to sort and search a little bit of big o notation merge sort quick sort and in the end they have this grid world case study it's basically a program a complete software program and you have to basically connect everything you learn in the book to understand how the program works i think it's a very valuable chapter i really enjoyed that and then in the end that's what i recommend if you do this i guarantee you your foundation will be great i've done it and i mean i never forgot this from this book do practice exams one and two that are in the beginning of the book three and four a couple of times you have to really internalize those concepts it's like just automatic uh, so if we look a little bit deeper into the book what's uh, obviously amazon restricts but here is one of the practice exams so it's almost like a standardized test you have a couple of options uh, what is great is that their last uh, those open-ended questions at the end of algorithms books are usually too hard and you don't have a cue to give the answer so with multiple choice you're like oh if you're learning it's great because you have a cue oh maybe it's bottom up top down I don't know so it really helps and it helps you like because it's quicker too so you can get like a think quicker about the problem get a quicker response uh, and also they change a lot the problems so you, they really explore all the nuances of the problems so you have multiple choices and in the end you have a thorough explanation of the problem so so here again you have the problems let's see if I get you the answers because they want to show you how good the explanations are uh, so here we have more problems and you see it's a lot of problems so it's not just like a like a simple and that's what you need you need volume when you're learning right like I think I won't so basically in the end of the, the exam you have the answers so this is a great book for self learners too because sometimes those books they have like only answers for the odd or the answers are only in the professor's solution manual so this is great resource for self learners really cheap and if you get it do it a couple of times like really internalize this book i i i i 50 percent of me getting an internship in a top company was by the material i learned in this book it wasn't because of college it wasn't because of anything else this book is gold it's a gem as i said in the title so really recommend